Come on, bro. Guys, so this is a Vicky case, like you already know. I'm a Are you sick? <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's Fuzzy. Welcome back to yet another in real life baseball video. I'm out here on a brand new baseball field that is literally two minutes away, two minutes away from my apartment. So hopefully we can come out here a lot throughout the spring and throughout the summer because if we can, you know with this guy and you know with my kind of creative juices, we're gonna make a ton of videos. But Mighty Go, if you're watching this right now, you gotta come out to Las Vegas because this kid, this kid is waiting for you. So if we can get this video, I haven't even talked to Mighty Go, but if we can get this video to five thousand likes, I will actually 10,000 likes, and I might talk about flying Mighty Go out here to challenge this guy in a home run derby. But that's all besides the point. That's just something I wanted to throw out there. What we're going to be doing today is we will be taking get that. We will be taking these bats right here and whatever bat that I have with me because I'm not very good with 34 inch bats. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take these batting gloves over here because when I was young, and my younger brother can kind of attest to this, I don't know what it was about Walmart batting gloves, but every time that we walked past them, we would just be like, <laughs> Walmart batting gloves. So what we have right here is we have the same brand of batting gloves. So they're both made by Franklin, but we have the $5. These were literally on sale for $5 at Walmart versus my limited edition Franklin All-Star Game, I got these last year. These were $50. So we're gonna see if there's any difference between the $5 batting glove and the $50 batting glove. I've already tried them on, and Chase and I don't know about you, but they just feel different. Yeah. They feel different. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna have a lot of fun in today's video. Make sure you guys slap a like on this one. Go subscribe to my brother on his YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so these two guys are coming after us right now. They look pretty fierce and they look pretty aggressive. I don't know, aggressive. cause this field, it's, I think it's for public use. I tried to make a phone call. I couldn't really find anything and no one answered the phone. So hopefully we don't kick out. We're gonna try and do this really fast, but if we do get kicked out, we'll have to move to a different area, but it'll still be a good video. I promise you guys. So the first round that we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and be using this JB19 Marucci. Who's JB19, Jackie Bradley? No. Justin Boris? Uh-uh. Who's JB? Batflip. Jose Bautista. Okay, that's really bad. I just, uh, all right, well, baseball. All right, guys, so the first round of hitting, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use these $50 Franklin gloves. The reason why is because I wanna go ahead and use the expensive one, and then I wanna use the cheaper one because I really wanna see, is there any difference? In my head, I feel like there's not gonna be a huge difference. I did try them on. The only thing that's different is, so these gloves don't have padding right here, whereas the other ones, I feel like they're made for maybe young kids that don't you know, hit the barrel, the ball all the way, because you know how you get that stinger where you hit it right here and then it stings your hands, you know? Come on, guys. Let's go hit some baseballs. <laughs> we're trying to beat the time. All right, guys, so what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna take like five to 10 swings each. The mud is really bad right now, and as you guys can see, I am not wearing the appropriate uh -oh. shoes, so. Uh-oh, here they come. Let me hit one. I think that's all she wrote, boys. Yep, here they that's come. That's all she wrote, a walk-off bomb with the hook. Wait, let me. <laughs> They're gonna kick us out. Let me get that backflip in there. That backflip, though. All right, guys, so like you saw, we did get kicked off the field, but we don't care, and right? we can make do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 swings each. I might be a little bit biased because these are one of my favorite batting gloves of all time. If you guys don't know, my favorite batting glove of all time is what's called, I think it was the Rawlings Workhorse. Is that what it was called? Yeah. It was the batting gloves that Grady Sizemore used to use. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get 10 swings. I'm just gonna go kind of easy, kind of get warmed up. <laughs> I'm a beast, dude. I'm a beast, you can't do that. All right, we have swing number two, feeling pretty good so far. Um, oh, uh, bro, did you see that? Bird came down. Bird came down bro. <laughs> the right. dogs in the bushes. Swing number three. That was a two for one right there. Also guys, I do wanna say, I got this bucket of balls at Big Five for I think 30 bucks, so these are not real baseballs right here, but you know what, we're on a budget, like I told you guys, so go. Dude, I'm so, I'm so good, bro. I'm so good at baseball. It's unreal. Can you teach me how to swing? <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep on going. So, so far, I just have to get warmed up, so I'm not doing that well. Oh, watch your lips. Almost just died. 
Ah. Jeez, man. Jeez. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen once or twice. All right, so we're gonna go three more swings with the $50 batting gloves, and then we're gonna switch on over to the $5 ones. Here we go. Yaga. Made it back to me again. Yaga. Last one. Come on. Come on. Here we go. I got scared on that one. <laughs> I saw myself hitting the pole and it coming back at me. So good, bro. So good, bro. Sign me up, coach. Sign me up. I know I'm 5'8", a little chunky, but still got it. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go to these bad boys right here. So if I just show you the difference, so here's the difference between $50 that you can't buy anymore and a $5 discount glove from Walmart. So why am I out of breath, bro? <sighs> All right, so if you see the underbelly of these gloves, so this one, I don't know why it has this padding. I really don't like that whatsoever. It just makes holding the bat a whole lot more hard. Whereas this one, there's nothing. There's nothing. All right, this is bad. No, I thought beach season was coming. I, just, I need to lose some weight, jeez. All right, so another thing about these gloves is these might be a little kitty size because I don't know if you guys can tell my hands I could barely even squeeze them, but we're gonna make do. My brother is gonna throw me 10 balls. Watch this, watch this. Ah, <laughs> uh, you didn't see that. <laughs> Ooh, I really don't like these. No, I don't like these at all. Come on. You got swing number one. All right, I see. Four. Uh oh. I'm so good. Swing number five. I can get back into it. I'm getting back into it. What is that, like eight? Eight. All Four. right. No, no, we'll do three more. All right. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, my guy. What's up, man? You gotta drill yourself in the face one time. One more. Cook bait. One more. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so official review of the $5 batting gloves from Walmart Target, wherever you guys go to. Again, I got these babies at Walmart and my final synopsis is my hands kind of hurt. Maybe that's just because the gloves are so small. But the thing about these is I don't like this. I think this is for kids who just don't hit the barrel of the baseball that often. Maybe they get that shock thingy. So I don't know if I'm a fan of these gloves. I'll be honest with you guys. If you're gonna spend five dollars, I mean, I guess it's worth it. But if you get this for anywhere from like fifteen to twenty dollars, I would say go ahead and just put in the extra investment and just get those because those are gonna last you longer. They don't have these little shock things that are gonna make it harder to grip the bat. So, final review of the five dollar Franklins with the shock absorbers. Don't get them. Actually, I mean, they're not that bad, but. I wouldn't recommend them. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to something else because the park is getting a lot more busy and it's just, it's getting hard to actually hit the baseballs, but we did our job. We did the $5 one versus the $50 one. Obviously the $50 one came out on top. So what we're gonna do right now, this is something that Chase and I have done before. We're gonna do a batting stance challenge, but we're gonna twist it up just a little bit. Chasen's gonna do lefty stances and I'm gonna do righty stances. So I don't know who he has in mind. So Chasen, hit me with that first stance. Hit me, Joey Gallo, Joey Gallo. Uh, wasn't Jacoby Ellsbury. Uh, no Marmazara. No. Oh, <laughs> I gotta get the leg hit. And then the bat flip. That is Rugnid Odor. I'm the king, man. I'm the king. All right, my turn now. Who's that? Putting in the fact that you were waving your hands around. Power hitter, uh, Chris Davis. I lose at everything when I'm facing you, man. All right, guys, well, that is gonna do it for today's video. I'm sorry that we could not stay on the field. This ballpark is amazing. Again, it's brand new, but we did talk to a couple guys that are landscapers, and apparently this is a rental-only field, so right now there's a tournament that's about to go on. The number one player in Nevada is actually right over there, so I wanted to try and get him into a video, but they're about to play a game. But if you guys wanna see more in real life baseball challenges, make sure you slap a like on this video and subscribe because we're getting so close to 100K, so I have a very, very, very special video plan for 100K. So let's get there as fast as possible. Thank you, Chase, in the recording. Everyone go follow my brother. He's in the description down below. He's always helping me out with videos. But, I mean, we did some batting stance challenges today. We did the $5 batting gloves versus the $50 batting gloves. So it was a lot of fun. It's super nice out. So expect more of these videos. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.
peace out. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you have not gone anywhere. I know I just outro the video, but I forgot. I made the bet that whoever won got a free Slurpee. So guess where we're at right now? The home of Slurpees. Oh, it's, oh gosh. 7-Eleven. Chicken salad, chicken salad. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're going with the, you're going with the double. Oh, <laughs> that's how we do it. That, right there. So you did Coca-Cola, blue raspberry, and then you did mango passion fruit. Yeah. That's weird, man. Come on, bro. Hey guys, so this is a Vicky case, like you know. I'm a bit. Are you sick? <laughs> what are you doing? Cussing? I think I just had to bleep out something, and uh. <laughs> all right guys thank you all so much for watching um we're gonna go ahead and clean this up <sighs> what a video i'm so happy that baseball's back <laughs>